So I've explained in previous videos that it's really hard being a fan of Rockstar Games just because of how they go about not really talking about what they're doing next, how they'll go months and months without really hearing from them about you know what could be coming soon in Grand Theft Auto Online and Red Dead Online. And I think fans are starting to reach a boiling point with Rockstar. I mean, if you just look at a lot of the responses they get on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all the posts they make, it really has nothing to do about what they've just announced, but more so like, why aren't you updating this? Why aren't we getting that? Where's the next Grand Theft Auto game, etc. And there's been a lot of rumors and reports, particularly with Grand Theft Auto Online, on what we're supposed to be getting next. And whether you want to believe them and whether they turn out to be true is an entirely different story. But needless to say, there's a lot of fans that are really starved for just anything. And the other day, and I don't know where this actually started, whether it was on Reddit, the GTA forum site, or social media altogether, there was an interesting post that was made claiming to know what the next Grand Theft Auto Online update is. And I obviously want to be optimistic about this, but I'm also going to take it with a huge grain of salt. And I recommend that you guys do the exact same thing as well, because there's, there isn't really any proof to this. This person claiming this seems to be relatively unknown, but it is interesting to talk about, and it will certainly generate a discussion. So let's actually begin with where this whole thing started, and that was apparently yesterday on Twitter. It came from a user, Axelius. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly. And like I said, I think this guy has a relatively low amount of followers on Twitter. Doesn't seem to be an insider or really just a community member at all. And their original tweet was in French, so you'll have to pardon me. This is being translated by Google. If any of you guys do speak French and can maybe translate this a little bit better, you guys can let me know in the comments down below. But it says the next GTA Online DLC will be based on sport. You will help Brucey Kibbutz in the construction of a sports complex, hiring private coaches for the wealthiest clients, and improving reputation will be essential to making a profit. Okay, so again, if this is true, this actually sounds kind of interesting because I've been wanting Rockstar to introduce sports into the game for a long time, but I also don't want it to turn into like NBA 2K or Madden, where you're just going out there playing various sports mini games. I don't necessarily think that would be all that exciting, and I also don't think it would work all that well with what our Grand Theft Auto Online characters are, which at the end of the day, they're petty criminals. So you wouldn't want them to just suddenly be sports stars like Lionel Messi or LeBron James. You'd want there to be some money-making aspect to it. And so I think this is how it would actually work. You would be involved in the idea of sports, but you'd be building this like multi-million dollar construction complex. And you would essentially be, I guess, managers or agents in a way for some of the wealthiest sports clients in the city. And as you kept improving your reputation, you would continue to make more and more of a profit. It kind of sounds like this would be more of like a passive income sort of thing. Very similar to the way the nightclubs work. Now, I know the nightclubs eventually allow you to sell stock. But the nightclubs are operating as long as your other businesses are still producing goods. So in a way, it's like passive but not passive income. There are other elements to it as well, like the residential side of the nightclub. I think it would be very, very similar to that. Now, I want to give this theory the opportunity to be real. So let's talk about why this could be a real thing. Number one, we haven't seen an update based around the idea of sports. We've had other businesses like nightclubs and, you know, smuggling guns and hangers and all sorts of other stuff, biker businesses. But we've never had anything revolving around the idea of the business of sports, which is kind of cool. It also looks like it would be tied directly to a business, which is sort of Rockstar's MO. We haven't had a business update since 2018, so it would kind of make sense if we got a new one of those. Also, the idea of Brucey Kibbutz returning is very, very plausible. Now, before the Diamond Casino heist update, I would say that's a little bit less likely, but remember, he actually appeared multiple times in the Diamond Casino heist. See, I used to be caught up in material things. Sick rides, 
Luxury real estate, Snapmatic followers, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but I let all that go. Yeah. Woo! This is a yeah. spiritual war, yeah, people. Off with a the spiritual it's war. Like stretching free head. It's not about looking good without your shirt on. So you definitely will. It's about complete package. Woo. The whole experience. Ah. Brucey's truth, baby. Yeah! Now let's do another round! Well, this might be a spiritual yeah. war, but I can't know anything about it. So I'm just going to leave you all to it. Have, uh, have fun, I guess. Good luck. I'm going to inspect the kitchens. Oh, and for the record, I was not at this meeting. That's probably for the best. Take it easy. Yeah! Brucey Kibbutz. I don't believe we've been introduced, but yes, I am going to change your life. Get you in shape. These days, it's a mental as well as a physical quest. I'm so strong mentally, I could... I could... Break that just in half! Just with my mind. I could, but I won't. That would be dangerous. Mr. Chang's uncle wants to thank you for your assistance. He has contacted us. We are going to war with the Duggins. Avery Duggan runs a multinational corporation. Their principal interest in San Andreas is oil and gas. Currently, they have four tanker trucks in the city. You destroy them, then call us. Move to the big target, okay? All right, good luck out there. I wish I could go with you, but we got another round to get in. Let's do it. You might not notice, but I'm also working on the smallest muscle of my body, my brain. Sharpen that tool, folks. Whoo! Hold that blade! So not only has Brucey been established in the GTA series, but now we know that he currently exists in the Grand Theft Auto Online timeline. So that right there also makes sense in a lot of ways. Now, going on the opposite side of this, this is coming from essentially a nobody. Now, not to discredit this individual, but it does seem as if they have a small Twitter following. They don't seem to be connected to Rockstar in any way, shape, or form. And it also seems very random that this sort of information would be revealed just way ahead of Rockstar because at the time of me recording this video, there's been nothing said from them on the next update, not even a hint or a clue. So it seems weird that like a random user on Twitter would have information that hasn't been revealed yet. Now, it's certainly not impossible because leaks have happened in the past, but I do think it's a little bit unlikely. Now, obviously, when this person put this out on their Twitter page, this started to generate a lot of discussion. And people were wondering, is this real? Is this fake? A lot of people were like, eh, this person has like, you know, 50 followers on Twitter. Doesn't seem all that legitimate. Other people loved the idea of something like this actually happening. And there's obviously a difference between loving the idea and if it's completely real or not. One thing this actually reminded me of and something I could totally see it working, there was this concept that we actually talked about a couple of months ago. It was the rags to riches update concept. It was created by a couple of members in the GTA community and I'll leave a link to that in the description. And essentially one of the biggest parts about their update was the completion of the Mile High Club, which is that construction area downtown that has been under construction since like day one, since 2013. So I've always thought that it would be cool if Rockstar actually transformed that into a usable area. And that would be so cool if that was essentially the idea that Rockstar was coming up with. Having this Mile High Club area be transformed, just like what Rockstar did to the old casino, transforming it into the Diamond Casino and Resort, and you could not only turn that into a sports complex or a business new type of office or agency that you could run, that would be super cool. And there's also a lot of other things that you could introduce in this area as well to make it more of a rounded update that might appeal to a wider audience. There could be other things in the Mile High Club other than just the sports agency part of it. Just like how there was other parts of the nightclub update that wasn't necessarily all tied about the business that made it more exciting and fun for a larger group of people. So that is something that I like instantly thought of when I saw this theory. And if it's anything like what these guys have created, uh, I think that it would be a spectacular update 
Now, as this started to generate a lot more discussion, we actually heard from a couple of users on the GTA forum site, including one Rolsha2282, who is very in tune with like the beta versions of GTA 5, finding stuff in the files. And he actually had a couple of things to say, like basketball was actually in the beta of GTA 5. You were apparently even able to do challenges as well. There's even some coordinates that were found in the beta files that are for the basketball center, which I think is called like the BJ Smith Recreational Center um, near Franklin's aunt's house. There's coordinates for that, indicating that there was something going to happen there. And apparently all of this was supposed to be used for a basketball minigame, but sadly the animations are no longer in the files. So they've been removed. So if this is something Rockstar was going to do, they would have to re-add all those animations back into the game so really the entire point of this video was to generate a discussion on number one do you think this is real or not yes or no and then number two regardless of if you think it's real or not do you think that would actually be a great idea for a grand theft auto online dlc i'd love to hear from you guys obviously in the comments down below so let me know what you're thinking down there if you guys did go on to enjoy this video though a like rating would of course be awesome and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.